amid Russia's claim of capturing Audiuka, previously under Ukrainian control, and escalating offensives, particularly towards Robotyne in Zaporizhia Oblast, Denmark has announced a significant show of support for Ukraine. In the face of Russia's aggressive military stance, with a boosted military budget of $118.5 billion for 2024, Denmark's move is timely. The Danish strategy involves deploying all its artillery systems to Ukraine. As Kyiv urges its Western allies for urgent ammunition support, the failure of the United States and Europe to meet promised quantities intensifies the need. The Artillery for Ukraine coalition, spearheaded by France and the United States, struggles to fulfill the crucial demand for ammunition and artillery equipment against a well-equipped adversary. In this scenario, Denmark, represented by Prime Minister Meta Frederiksen at the Munich Security Conference, has announced its intent to donate its artillery to Ukraine. This isn't the first time Denmark has extended such support. Previously, it provided 19 Caesar artillery systems to Ukraine. The focus now shifts to the specifics of the aid, potentially including Atmos howitzers and Pulse multiple rocket launchers, along with the accompanying munitions. The Atmos, a truck-mounted self-propelled artillery system developed by Elbit Systems in Israel, has gained recognition for its versatility since its inception in 2001. Operable by a crew of two to six members, it boasts a wide range of motion, with a pivot of 25 degrees left and right and an elevation adjustment of up to plus 70 degrees, offering enhanced targeting flexibility. With dimensions suited for battlefield mobility, including a length of 9.5 meters and a weight of 23 tons for the 52 caliber version, the Atmos combines firepower with strategic agility. Its truck-mounted design facilitates swift relocation between firing positions and adaptability to diverse operational landscapes. The Atmos's reputation extends beyond Israel, attracting interest from various countries worldwide, including Azerbaijan, Botswana, Cameroon, Colombia, the Philippines, Thailand, Uganda, Zambia, and Denmark. Frederiksen's statement underscores the urgent need to supply munitions to Ukraine and criticizes the unused stockpile in Europe. This echoes the sentiments of Josep Borrell the high representative of the Union for Foreign Affairs and Security Policy, who urges European nations to prioritize Ukraine in their munitions exports.